Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Olga is here. For those of you who haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. When you see that little kitty cat over there, that's my cat, my main coon, Zina. You can click on her and subscribe. Also, if you like the video, give it thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And please leave me your questions, comments in the section down below. I will link all of the useful tips and information that I have discussed in this video down below. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Today we are going to discuss symbols, all of these mysterious symbols that you see on your packaging, on your makeup, on those bottles, on shampoos, and what do these symbols mean to us, the consumers, and how to read the information. So for instance, right here in front of me I have Oh, I love this palette. Marc Jacobs uh, style icon number 20. And I'm going to show you right there. You see some of these symbols, right? You see this little circle. You see the hand with the book. You see a little eye and you see, oops, I was holding it backwards right there. You see the <laughs> eye, which means you're applying it onto your eyes. You see the period after opening. You have the little open jar and you see the kind of like a loop, like a dot, and what else? And you see kind of like a hand with a book. So I always get really intrigued, and by the way, all these symbols, with the exception of the book, the book and the hand are not here, are here on this lovely, I love this palette. Did I just mention that or what? Okay, going back to the video, I always was very intrigued when I see these symbols and I always wanted to know what they mean. Sometimes they are self-explanatory, it's easy to understand some of them, others can be a little bit tricky and so I decided to do a little bit of the research on the internet and put together this lovely video for you guys basically to kind of understand what's going on on those packets, packaging, makeup palettes, bottles, whatnot. Talk about the very first one that really intrigued me. It's the one with an open container like that. And I'm going to tell you what that means. So the little open jar icon is the PAO or period after opening symbol, which tells you how long the product will stay good after the package is unsealed. The time period is almost always shown in months and appears as a number followed by the letter M, either inside the jar graphic or next to it. The period of time after opening must be included on products with a shelf life of 30 months or more. What that one means. Any cosmetics product that has a lifespan of less than 30 months has a best before end of date, symbolized by the hourglass or end timer. Cosmetics sold in the European Union must include either a PAO or BBE symbol, but according to the US Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, there are no regulations or requirements under current United States law that require cosmetics manufacturers to print expiration dates on the labels of cosmetics products. A few general rules do apply. For instance, as in previous videos, it's good uh, rule of thumb to discard your mascara after three to four months because the product does expire rather fast and you are applying it onto your eyes. So be very much careful, be very careful with mascaras and do discard them in a timely manner. I'm going to jump into the next symbol right now, which is called the Mobius Loop. Mobius Loop indicates a recyclable container, but there are variations we might not, we might not know to pay attention to. If the symbol is inside a solid circle, it means the packaging itself is made from recyclable material. If the symbol is inside a circle and has percentage inside the symbol or nearby, that indicates that the packaging is made from that stated percentage of recyclable material. Sometimes the symbol has a number inside the triangle and letters below. And that basically tells you which resin this packaging or stuff was made from and how to dispose of it properly. Now we are going to go into the next symbol, which is the green dot symbol. 
The green dot symbol used in Europe indicates that the company making the product pays a recovery and recycling organization to oversee ecologically responsible management of their packaging waste. So, basically self-explanatory, uh, but really nice to be able to kind of go in into these symbols and speak about them in such great detail. So the next symbol is the USDA organic seal. The USDA organic seal promises that at least 95% of all of the ingredients in the product are organic. The FDA, however, does not define the term organic or natural, natural or regulate their usage in labeling or advertising cosmetics. Since the USDA only allows their seal to be used on products made of at least 95% organic ingredients, the MSF seal was created for products comprised of at least 70% organic ingredients. Not all ingredients used in cosmetics are eligible for organic status under UEA regulations. So the NSF offers less stringent accreditation along with a logo marketing purposes for products that can't meet stricter USDA standards. The next symbol is EcoCert. And EcoCert is another non-governmental certification program for evaluating the organic cons concerns of products. The EcoCert organic symbol appears on a product that signifies that at least 95% of its plant-based ingredients and at least 10% of all its ingredients by weight are organic. If the EcoCert natural symbol appears on a product that signifies that at least 50% of its plant-based ingredients and at least five of all its ingredients by weight are organic. So the next symbol is referred to insert as I had pointed this one out to you on the Marc Jacobs palette. What this means is it doesn't necessarily tell you to go read something or like look for a book in a library. What this tells you is that the information that comes with cosmetics or makeup is a lot and they wanted you to be able to familiarize yourself with that information and they wanted you to be able to read the instructions on the packaging, know how to use the stuff. So like this is their little leaflet and this is the information they wanted to include with their palette for instance. They wanted to show you how to make all of these looks and basically that's that. So. Uh, it also could be like a little card or like a little leaflet and it gives you the either the ingredient list or usage instructions or warning about the product. Uh, the refer to insert symbol appears when the required information doesn't all fit on a container's label, which happens quite often with smaller cosmetics packaging. The next one up is E-Mark. In the European Union, a lowercase e is the estimated sign, sometimes called an E-Mark, which indicates that across all of the cosmetics manufactured, the average volume or weight of the products is the same as the number on the label per EU law, per the European Union law. Okay, so and now we're going to go in into the most intriguing one and I love this one because it's the leaping bunny symbol but because not all bunnies are created equal we need to certainly explain some of the differences that can happen with the bunny symbol. So the leaping bunny symbol tells you the company that manufactured the product doesn't perform testing on animals and conforms to the standards set by the Coalition for Consumer Information on Cosmetics, CCIC, and Cruelty-Free International, CFI. The not tested on animals symbol, also featuring a rabbit, communicates that the company manufacturing the product satisfies the standards of the Australia-based group Choose Cruelty Free and has been deemed cruelty free across the entire cooperation, including its part partners or subsidiaries 
uh, products bearing this symbol have not been tested on animals and any animal derived ingredients they contain have been ethically sourced. The PETA cruelty free bunny indicates that the company has submitted a statement to PETA, P -E -T -A, asserting that they do not perform testing on animals and there is also a vegan version of the logo available to companies who state that all of their products are vegan. But not, like I said, not all bunnies are created equal. There is also something you want to keep on the lookout is that some companies just have like a cute little bunny that isn't the official, official bunny, you know? So there is definitely that to keep in mind. Also, I want to talk about a couple of more symbols that I found just kind of putzing around the internet and looking at all of these packagings. Uh, so there is also gluten-free gluten and it's just a GF in a circle. If you see like a flame in a circle, that means that the product is flammable. So possibly when you're, for instance, like with a certain sunscreens, you have to wait until the product dries on your skin because this could be flammable. So basically, I would say this was like a little short tutorial on all of these symbols. There is of course tons and tons of more symbols and if i wanted to cover all of them we would be watching this video till next morning and i don't think that you would appreciate that so i would say let's just kind of wrap it up and say this is good for right now if you guys want me to do any more research on these symbols if you have any comments please leave me in comments in the section down below Please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye!